G'day, welcome back. Good to see you here at Cruiserway on Gecko. It's Derek and Joe back with you for a half hour trip around the world. And we're not just going to talk about it, we're going to take you there too. Yeah, we certainly are. This show is all about cruising to and from Australia. And we'll give you just a glimpse of the many offers we have to get you big holidays for not as much dollar as you might imagine. Our team have been putting value at the forefront of what we do for over 25 years. And that means we know our stuff and always go straight for the best deals. Yeah, we do. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, later, we'll be taking you on the Crown Princess in Sydney for next March, uh, taking the great Australian bike to Perth. Uh, we also welcome Cunard's newest Queen Anne to Sydney, and we've got a 19-night cruise out to Hong Kong to showcase for next February, with a stay there too, and just a $300 deposit today to get it booked. Let's start, though, with an offer that is two years away. But with such a tempter of a price and a low deposit, we had to tell you about it right now. We're off on a double cruise to Fiji, Samoa, uh, from incredible New Zealand back to Sydney. Now, this 26-night adventure starts on the 3rd of March in 2026, over two years away. And we fly first from Sydney over to Auckland in New Zealand. And we've got a hotel stay there. Two fabulous nights. Oh, brilliant. Lovely little mini break in Auckland. Um, you have the Morton Kelly Underwater World right there as pictured, an incredible aquarium. Actually, to be honest, that's pretty much the best aquarium I think I've ever seen. So good. You could enjoy from the rotating tower far above Auckland a delicious meal um, and just, you know, overseeing the spectacular scenery that Auckland and the Bay has to offer. It's very cosmopolitan, delicious coffees, fantastic food, friendly people. What more could you ask for? You're in New Zealand. Then we're joining the Celebrity Edge for 24 nights back to back. This is one of the newest, most exciting and edge class ships in celebrities arsenal and boy is she amazing now i've been on the beyond which is the sister ship and i have to say my word they've outdone themselves with this design from the sloping sort of segwaying decks that seamlessly flow into each other through to the beautiful artwork around the ship and the fresh flowers and plants that you'll actually have up there on the garden deck as well. This is a really unique class of ship from Celebrity. The Grand Plaza, right, that they actually do evening shows in the Grand Plaza, like light shows, when they and, and, and flare bartending, which is really fun. Um, you've got beautiful, beautiful dining options from Cypriot food and Greek food through to your traditional um, favorite hearty classics, French, Italian, um, you know, Asian, you name it. You name it, there's something for everyone's taste. And the design elements on the ship, they are utterly modern, fresh, updated. I mean, honestly, for the sake of it, other, other than it moving, you don't feel like you're on a ship. You feel like you're in a really lavish boutique hotel. Oh, you are so immersed on what's um, what's going on on board. One of the biggest, grandest dining occasions as well, by the way, in speciality. Uh, first of all, Le Petit Chef, where you get the little animated chef there uh, making all of the food. Uh, it's incredible, really gets booked up very, very quickly. But you can also do dinner on the edge. You might have noticed on the side of the ship there was that level that went sort of out the side of the ship, which actually yes. can move levels and decks as well. And on one night of the cruise, it will go to the very, very top of the ship and become a unique only one of a kind dining experience for that cruise called yes. Dinner on the Edge, and it's well worth doing. Um, but of an evening, obviously the atmosphere is incredible, right in the center, the martini bar there. It is almost an entertainment space as well, a bar and a theater all in one. And there's a nightclub too, which is amazing. So we're sailing out of Auckland. Yes, we are. And we're heading into the Bay of Islands first, uh, where you can see lots of uh, natural Maori history and in the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, go to a traditional village, and the Haruru Falls are also beautiful. And of course, uh, the, the, the Bay of Islands is quite a subtropical climate. We're into Suva and Fiji next for you, uh, where you can visit, again, traditional villages where the Fijians will welcome you with pride to show you their natural surroundings. And it's quite magical actually doing that. And there's some lovely gardens there as well to visit. Lutoka is next on our list, and um, this features a beautiful orchid garden, the South Sea Orchid Garden, if you love your flora and fauna. But just to snorkel, to dive, to kayak in the tranquil turquoise ocean is a highlight. 
Apia Samoa is up next, and this is where you can see the uh, Supergawa Falls. So maybe take a little trip, speak to your celebrity team on board to do like a little um, around the island trip where you can go to the waterfalls, beach, they'll have a little beach stop, a little bit of everything for you. Then it's Pago Pago, um, again in Samoa, where you can see, and these are like just little islands, but they're full and brimming with nature. And also, again, local people really wanting to invite you into their world and show you a piece of how they live. Then it's New Zealand, Taranga is next, and this is the gateway to Rotorua. So from here, head to Rotorua, and you can see some of the most amazing natural formations, from bubbling mud pools to sulfur flats and geysers. It's unlike anywhere else. Then we're back into Auckland, and we're staying on board. You can get off the ship, though, and in, enjoy Auckland for the day, but you don't disembark, because we're on to another cruise. We are. Uh, so maybe whilst you're there, you're just grabbing a coffee downtown, not having to stress about checking in, because you've already checked in. You're off to the Bay of Ireland again so I tell you what one this is one port you definitely want another little look at because um, of all the islands in New Zealand this is one of the most exciting um, and there's lots to do on Bay of Islands for sure then we're into Taranga again and this second stop means maybe this time you can go on the Hobbiton tour if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings or maybe head to a traditional Maori village or go back again to the amazing natural thermal springs in Rotorua we're in wine country next, lovely, Napier, which is gateway to some of the most iconic wineries on earth, including Celador, there's Hawke's Bay there as well. Um, beautiful, and particularly the Sauvignon Blanc is so good. Into Pitong, where you can do a spot of uh, whale watching, but also Marlborough. Now Marlborough is again, it's an iconic winery, world famous. Uh, then you have the Queen Charlotte Sound, because we're at gateway to the sounds here, of course, which are the, uh, the fjords of New Zealand. Zealand. Wellington is up next and this is where we can take um, just again take our time to enjoy this iconic city. Uh, of course it's the capital so you've got Tapapa Museum and the Victoria Lookout uh, to enjoy. Christchurch is on our list next where you can do um, one of the excursions on offer there is kayaking just to enjoy the, the natural surroundings and beauty that you get to uh, know about in New Zealand and it's speak to our team about the, the team about this on the ship. Crater room views are also lovely. Then it's Dunedin and this is home of the only uh, what well, Scottish Heritage Castle in New Zealand, which is the Lanark Castle. You can also go and see the beautiful little blue penguins in Penguin Place, and they're so, so cute. And if you've been down to Phillip Island, you'll know these are adorable. Then it's Fiordland National Park, and this is where we'll get the chance to see New Zealand's largest national park, which was formed millennia ago by massive glacial flows that carved deep fjords into the coast. And you have the dusky, doubtful, and Milford sounds that we're going to be passing through. Being on a ship is one of the best ways to explore natural fjords because you're out there on deck with that indoor-outdoor experience. And uh, this is a little overview of your itinerary. Of course, you're from New Zealand in Auckland. You're heading through beautiful Fiji, uh, Samoa. Then we're, of course, into New Zealand for our second cruise, some of the best of New Zealand, including Taranga for Rotorua. And then finishing off back in Sydney, so it's easy breezy. I was just thinking about all of those wine regions you were going to as well. So if you were doing tastings and you were buying, you know, the odd bottle here and there from the vineyards directly. Um, remember, we're sailing back into Sydney on this one, which is really, really handy. Uh, $500 each as a deposit today will secure the price tag we've got for you, which is a little over two years away. But this locks in a great price tag that once you've paid your deposit today, locks that in, locks that deal in for an incredible luxury adventure. And for the calibre of cruise that you are taking here, you would expect that price to be considerably higher because there is a lot included, particularly on your cruise, uh, on this offer as well. Let's have a quick look at upgrades for you then if you want to go to Ocean View or go up to Balcony. I mean, this is amazing. You will love Celebrity Edge as well. She really is. Um, she was kind of ahead of her time when she was launched, and that wasn't all that long ago, um, to be honest with you. Um, fantastic class of ships. Celebrity are already some of the smartest, brightest, most innovative and boutique cruise experiences you can ever have 
in the world and so many people go back again and again and again. It is pure unashamed luxury, but it's comfortable luxury as well. It's not being dressed up in your tuxedo 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's that lovely kind of country club feel where you, you know, you just move with the parts of the world that you're in. It's as simple as that. Oh, it that. is as easy as it yeah. can be. And it's a wonderful cruise as well. I've um, cruised a couple of times with Celebrity and they really do look after you. They're great at mixing cocktails as well, by the way. So if you're oh, a the lover best. of cocktails. The yeah. best cocktails. Oh they my really gosh, do. everything you can imagine. They got the skills because yes. they're recruiting their, their team, particularly their mixologists. Uh, they're recruiting them from five star um, uh, establishments from around the world. It, it really is incredible. Listen, if you want to know more right now, 1300 412 358 is our toll free telephone number. No such thing as a silly question, as well, by the way. Any questions that Joe and I can't answer for you, our team will be able to. 1300 412 358. Oh my word, Joe, I've just had a little glimpse of where we're going I, next. I'm so excited <laughs> to talk about this because this um, is one of my favourite things to talk yeah, about. Me too. Having ventured onto these cruise lines and been on all of them apart from the brand new one because it's time to experience the White Star service of Cunard Line and the brand new Queen Anne on a Pacific adventure for 22 nights, uh, leaving on the 28th of February next year. You're going to be embarking Queen Anne in Sydney for a 19 night cruise and how fabulous to have the brand new Queen Anne setting sail from our shores. I know, she will be on her inaugural she's season. All launching, no, she's launching this year. Oh, okay. So you'll be in the uh, in the second season. Right. Uh, if you can't wait that long and you want her inaugural season, I'm sure we will have the offer for you just talk to the team but we're putting a great deal in place right now for next season because we've got an extra low deposit available on this right now and I think lots of people find that very very right. handy okay. um, I'll tell you now you could book this off for today for just three hundred dollars each what yeah that's your deposit I know it's incredible that's and, nuts. and this is Cunard this is Cunard, I guys. Know. They wrote the whole book on cruising because the, this is the original cruise line company, White Star Line. You realize that. They used to do the transatlantic, they still do the transatlantics yep. from Southampton to New York on the Mary. But this, I mean, not only is it rare to see Cunard in Australia, because they only do um, one, usually once every other year on a vessel, but secondly, you've got a brand new Cunard ship that everyone's desperate to well, get onto. And, and to have her here within a year of launch yeah, again yeah, yeah. Is, is true testament to Cunard's association, I think, with Australia as well. Uh, absolutely. Now, what I love about Cunard is you've got all the hallmarks of classic voyaging, not just cruising, voyaging. You really do feel like it's another world. So traditional places you can enjoy and feel like you've gone back to a bygone era, but at the same time, all the modern updates we'd expect from a brand new vessel. Now, if you love to dance, if you are a bit of a ballroom couple, or you just like to watch, then they have professional ballroom dancers on board, salsa teachers, tango, you name it. Um, you can do some really unique things when you're on board Cunard. And, if, and the afternoon tea, it comes aplenty. Every single day you could be indulging in delicious afternoon tea, maybe with a cheeky glass of bubbly as well. Nice. I don't know about that, but I, I, you, those uniforms that we were just looking at there, I would love my own version of that. Yeah, I would I love that. my own Cunard uniform. Yeah. What a, a privilege We'll see that what we be. can do. I love a word with okay. contacts. Thank you. <laughs> Cruising out of Sydney, we're going straight into Brisbane for our first stop. A little pit stop here, of course, in beautiful Queensland. You can head to the Koala Sanctuary, um, the South Bank Parklands as well. And of course, the South, South Bank's been updated extensively recently. It's beautiful to stroll along there. Then we're into Ellie Beach for the reef and Whit Sundays. Of course, you have the Heart Reef right there. If you can take a float plane, a helicopter tour, I really would recommend it just to see the reef formation. I think it's going to be unbelievable. And then, of course, you've got to snorkel the reef. Then it's Cairns for the Daintree Rainforest and Corunda Railway, Cape Tribulation up there as well. It is glorious. Maybe you want to do a, a little, uh, you know, spot the croc tour as well. Uh, Botanical bar Gardens right there are also gorgeous. We're up into the top end and Darwin, um, which is gateway to Kakadu, of course. You've got the Territory Wildlife Park. Maybe you want a cage dive with crocs. You can do it at Crocosaurus Cove. You may have heard about this. Only for the brave and bold. 
don't have any meat in your pocket when you're doing that. <laughs> uh, then it's Batung, Indonesia, um, full of craters and volcanic activity, a really interesting island. There's also um, lots of history that you can view there in the Warugo burial complex um, and nature reserves. Then Manila, Philippines beckons us, and this is capital of the fabulous Philippines. So you've got um, lots of colonial history and architecture and fortresses, but then you have uh, the natural beauty as well, such as the Tower Volcano. Do speak to the team about booking a shore excursions. We have an overnight in amazing Hong Kong and then a further two nights to cap off our adventure. So four nights total in Hong Kong. Um, three nights total, excuse me. You have skyscrapers um, forming, forming really a glistening forest of, of steel and glass, but at the same time, you've got the busy harbour waters and the green dragon-crested hills of Kowloon. You know, there's no place like Hong Kong. It's magic. Um, you might want to head up, uh, head over on the Star Ferry and up to Victoria Peak, do some shopping. They're known for their electronic shopping. And then we'll fly you back to Australia, back to Sydney after, I'm sure, quite a lot of shopping in Hong I Kong. I would imagine so, yeah. I would imagine quite a lot of shopping um, got done, particularly at the end in Hong Kong there. Uh, just to be clear, your last night of the cruise is in Hong Kong, and then you have two more nights in a hotel, which is amazing. Uh, very, very good. I'm just going to say right now, the only place my hands would be in Crocosaurus Cave is in my pockets, <laughs> let me tell you. Anyway, what an amazing adventure. Within a year of launching, Queen Anne is here in Sydney, which is amazing. And you can be there as well on a really, really fantastic adventure. As I mentioned before, $300 each today as a deposit will secure the offer that we have for you right now. And there is generally a wait list for these Cunard voyages. They book up so, so quickly. So to have this come in at under $5,000 is one, incredible, and two, it's available. $300 each today books your place on this sailing, but there are a lot of eyes on this as well. So I would be as quick as you can. Here are upgrades on board Queen Anne as well. Remember, she is brand spanking new. She hasn't even launched yet. She launches later this year, uh, but then she's here in Sydney next year for us, which is brilliant. Do you know the other thing I noticed about the itinerary here as well? Across 19 nights, I want to give you the balance of sea days and ports as well, because out of Sydney, first day at sea to relax. Then you've got Brisbane, then you've got a day at sea, then into Airlie Beach, then a day at sea, then Cairns, then three days at sea to Darwin. So lots of time to relax as well. Two days at sea, up to Bitung in Indonesia, then two days at sea to Manila in the Philippines, then a day at sea into your final stop, which is Hong Kong. You have the overnight there, so we're not rushing straight off the ship, an extra night there. And then when you do finally leave Queen Anne, two extra nights in a hotel in Hong Kong before the flight back to Sydney. So this is a really beautifully balanced holiday as well. Don't think about it all being about the pressure of port after port, day after day. You've got plenty of time to drink in what you've just visited, where you've just been, where you've just seen, and plenty of time to relax and prepare for the next exciting adventure on your journey as well. So if you fancy making this a journey for you and yours right now, 1300 412 358 is the telephone number to call right now. It's toll free as well, remember. So any questions you have whatsoever, uh, just give us a call. I have to say, I am very, very, very interested um, in seeing Queen Anne. Yeah. I mean, they have not bought out a new vessel in over a decade. No. It might even be two decades. It's a, it's a fair one. Yeah, yeah it's at so least a this is yeah. massive. Yeah. Like, all the cruise industry is talking about it. Yeah. And if you want to, you want to have the ultimate bragging rights, if you want to be one of the first passengers on that brand new vessel, certainly one of the mm. first passengers in Australia, yeah. you need to book that. So it's going to sell out. You need to book it. Um, all right, I've, I've had my words now. Okay, she's whacked a thing, she's <laughs> all right, told I've you. I've given you my stern talk. Okay, on we go then, and we continue the theme of luxury cruising in our third and final offer in the show, and we're switching cruise lines again, this time to Princess Cruises. We've been talking a lot about Princess recently, of course, uh, with the launch of the 25 and 26 season, and of course, so much more that, that they are doing. This time, we're taking a great Australian bite to Perth. 13 nights and it's on the 19th of March next year on board Crown Princess who is here 
in these shores next year uh, and indeed in 2026 as well which is very very yes. exciting to have three princess ships not far away from us is incredible um, and you'll love if you've never cruised with princess before and you've thought okay this will be the opportunity because they are close to close to home this is our opportunity to try them i would say to you if you want a new favorite if you want a new home from home then princess once you have sailed one of their ships you can trust that that same level of service that same variety of restaurants and facilities will be across their entire fleet from the oh, yeah. newest to the to the you know the oldest in the fleet but the continuity is really superb in princess because they ensure that they have that heightened quality from vessel to vessel like you said and they're constantly winning awards yeah. for their food for their entertainment um, you know best pizza in usa today and cruise critic they have a michelin star curated menu you've got chef's table table lumiere which has the michelin star menu there's special occasions it's amazing and um, you also have a wide variety of dining options from delicious asian through to italian uh, you've got the International Cafe for a little bit of everything. And then there's the shows. I mean, again, being one of the most uh, iconic cruise lines, one that's been around some of the longest time, you can imagine the shows have just, again, through the years, progressed in the exceptional level and standard of quality. And that's just the, you know, the on the, the in-house team and of course you've got loads of other things you know guesting guesting acts on board such as musicians um you know um magicians loads of different things to watch the spa oh my goodness <laughs> if you want to pamper and indulge yourself they've yeah. got everything they've got acupuncture they've got inothermy uh you can have a full body seaweed wrap you can have tweakments you can have your hair cut and colored there's a barber on board. I mean, they've got everything, haven't they? <laughs> and Joe's tried Manny them Penny all. massage combo, whatever you want to have. Definitely. Fire and ice. I love it. It's my recommendation. Talking Hot. about moving with the times as well in terms of entertainment, they've also moved in, in step with the um, technology as well. So you can yes. use the app to do so much around the ship, even to see how busy a restaurant is or isn't at the time, which is incredibly clever. So out of Sydney for 11 nights, we sail. Yes, it, we do. We're heading straight into Hobart. And, um, you know, the sea for its fine deep water harbour. Hobart really does spill over the lower reaches of Derwent Valley. So it's an imposing sight when you're sailing in, which is beautiful. Um, you know, centred on the iconic historic waterfront. So take a wander around. Then we're into Melbourne. Beautiful Melbourne. Uh, now, Melbourne, of course, is a sprawling city and it's just jam-packed with art and culture. It's where I grew up, actually. Yarra Valley's there. Hillsville Sanctuary. You've got Puffing Billy. Of course, ride the Puffing Billy train. You'll have time. Then it's Adelaide. Um, and Adelaide has has the Barossa Valley at its doorstep. So if you're a wine lover, you've got to do it. The Australia Zoo, you've got the Botanic Gardens there too, and Hayes Chocolates, of course they're world famous, not just Australia famous. Then it's Albany. Um, and this is, you know, this amazing small city is a bit more off the beaten track, but you have some excellent tour opportunities, including the National Anzac Center and um, Torn Dirip National Park and the Southern Wineries and Sites Tour. Then it's Margaret River. And, um, you know, Margaret River is beautiful. It's, it's, again, it's known for its wineries, its craft breweries, but the natural beauty, you've got the caves there with the stalactites and stalactites. You've got the uh, naturalized lighthouse to visit. Speak to the team on board because they'll help you uh, plan. Then it's Fremantle. And Fremantle is actually where we're going to be disembarking and having two fabulous nights. And if you've never ventured over to Western Australia, because a lot of East Coasters just haven't, you know, I didn't till, you know, relatively later in my life. Um, it's, it's a different world, really, isn't it? Um, if you've been there, you'll know. Not only from climate, but also from the pace. It's much more low paced, you know, quiet, and it's just a really fabulous um, holiday destination for that reason. And of course, Western Australia boasts some of the most spectacular beaches, not just in Oz, but in the entire world. They're perfect. Um, you've got craft breweries, you've got wineries, you've got that cottage industry, you know, with beautiful cheeses and artisan products um, on offer. It's just amazing. And of course, if you want to talk to the team, I was just thinking here, if you are already uh, that way, if you want to talk to the team about doing this the other way around, so flying over to Sydney from Perth and having a couple of nights there and then doing this cruise, again, just talk to the team. That can happen very, very easily. Uh, as this is starts in Sydney, 
ends in Perth, two nights in a hotel there, um, and then of course your flight back to Sydney. Price tag on this is wonderful because this is all about uh, what the ship has to offer, that wonderful route as well, to, I guess, to a lot of places that, you know, you just don't get to see all the time. Fascinating places that are on the doorstep as well. We always forget sometimes the beauty that is just around the corner or the great Australian bite. Let's have a look at our price tag. This is for March in 2025, remember? Uh, so just over a year away. 2299 per person now that is a fantastic holiday and actually if you've got somebody in your family who loves the idea of cruising but wants to cruise locally close to home do you know what I mean a lot of people want to do that as well round Australia cruises are so so popular I completely get why you've got the whole experience of cruising you've got interesting places to go and visit that you may not have seen before or been to before um, and yet you're not straying too far away and if you are flying it's just you know it's a short flight um, internal so a holiday like this just makes that so so easy you really do get the full occasion of the holiday which is brilliant um, and if you want to know more all you need to do is call us right now 1300 412 358 and on this one if you do want to talk to the team about um, doing this the other way around so if you're already in Perth and you want to fly to Sydney have a couple of nights there then join this cruise around the great Australian bite then absolutely you can. Here's the highlights then of this offer. Uh, incredible for your upgrades as well. Going ocean view and up to balcony there for you as well, which is lovely. Uh, of course, if you need a flight from another city down to Sydney to start this holiday, again, just let us know. Uh, we've got it all covered for you here. one 412 358 And remember, we are here to talk to every single day. And talking about being here every single day, you're watching us right now on The Mighty Gecko, and we are here every single day, three times a day now as well. You get three wonderful cruise fixes now, 10 a.m. in the morning, and then in our regular slots in the afternoon at one and four. So uh, listen, if there's someone you know who should be cruising, would you send them our way? 10 a.m. in the morning, one in the afternoon, four in the afternoon, any day you like, we will be here. Uh, plus, all of our shows are on demand as well on our YouTube channel. Just search for Cruise Away on YouTube. You will find all of our fabulous shows there. Beware, though, there's a lot of offers, Joe, isn't there? There are a lot it's of offers. It's a big offers. time right now. It is. Um, and I love what you were saying about cl uh, cruising closer to home, too, because yeah. we have a monumentally beautiful country. We have so many different terrains. And hopping on a ship, Taking around to these really exciting ports um, is a way to really explore them in a whole different way. And you might not have thought in the past that it, it was possible, but this is the way to do it. Yeah. Um, so get booking because there's so many enchanting offers. Absolutely. And then you don't need to nominate a driver, do you? Everyone can enjoy it <laughs> in the same way. Uh, listen, come back and see us again very, very soon. Have a brilliant rest of your day and we will see you for some more Cruise Away soon. Mind how you go.